I mean, I love you too for a lot of reasons, but for taking on mom bullying, it's so it's so important. Mom shaming. I, I applaud you for doing it. You both are both. Yeah, give him a little applause here. Your son, Luca, he's three, three right? He's three, three and a half. And oh. Ryan, Ryan is only four months old. You were backstage yes. pumping, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> you had a lot of I was, yeah. yes. <laughs> so you know from mom shaming, those people who don't know, though, Hillary, can you explain what it is? I mean, I think it's basically adult bullying, yeah. you know, it, it, it's such a, with such a sensitive subject matter that all of us take so seriously as mothers, parents, we want to do everything right and, and perfect because we love our children so much. And it's basically just judgment on, on doing things differently from one another. And obviously, you know, we all know that not one thing works for every family or every child or every mother. And basically... But people are so quick to criticize. It's, it's fascinating. And even yeah. if it's not coming from a mean place, like mm -hmm. they're trying to to be rude, just sometimes coming with advice so heavy handed or, you know, even You've bragging. It, right? A hundred percent. I mean, I remember when I started working again and seven months after breastfeeding Luca and introducing formula, people being like, oh, you didn't make it to a year? Or, you know, when things. Seven months is so amazing all on its own. Right, exactly. Well, it felt like a big feat for me, you know? Yeah. Like, ah, you know. And your, your little girl is only four months and already you're experiencing the shaming. I do. You know, I feel like I haven't felt it, that intense judgment yet because she is so young. But but people do have opinions about everything from the minute you tell people you're pregnant, you know, your birth plan, you're the name. Right? Yeah. Well, if you're going to have an epidural, if you're, you know, if you have a night nanny, I mean, it just goes on and on. Well, when I was um, pregnant with my first son, Ben, I went to Elizabeth Bing for Lamaze and she is the mother. She was. She passed away. She was the mother of Lamaze and Ben was a footling breech, which means he was standing up like a star. Mine too. Okay. Yeah. And so my husband and I had been told by the doctor, you probably are going to end up with a C-section because the baby comes first. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, no, no, no. You have to have natural childbirth or you failed. And she had me every night, I kid you not, with the incense sticks in between each toe. <laughs> no. And yes. Be, thinking that that would turn the baby around. Uh, and if it's for today, and the internet had the power, you know, yeah. back then that it has now, I would have experienced shame like you wouldn't believe. People would have been so critical. Wait, yeah, and? Sure. Did the incense work? No, no. <laughs> and I, not only did the baby not turn around, but my husband uh, said we're going to have the section and Ben turned out beautiful. Right. So no, it's really I'm fine. Awesome. But Congratulations. Yeah. You're both working with Similac, and they started a campaign called Sisterhood of Motherhood. Tell me about that campaign. It's amazing. I mean, we feel so lucky to be a part of it. Obviously, we're both new-ish moms, and um, they really inspired us when, when we found out what they were doing, really creating a community online on their Facebook page to inspire moms to come together, share their story on how they felt judged through, you know, some point uh, during, you know, being a mother, and how they continue to feel judged and what they're going to do to stop the mommy wars. You know, people really bully a lot online. It's easy to do it behind a computer screen. People have so many opinions, and we really want women, families, everyone to come together and be supportive because not one thing works for exactly. every family. Exactly. You know that you're not alone. That yeah. other people have gone through it and maybe form a, a positive community. Well, yes. that's what we like so much about what Simulac is doing is that it is spreading positivity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's they have an amazing documentary coming out next month and they've got the trailer up on their Facebook page and it's emotional to watch it because you, you really? feel all the same things that these parents feel. What's their hashtag? Hashtag end mommy wars. And Haley, you've said in, uh, that it's a good idea if somebody says something to try to turn it into a positive. You have one child, I think you, you relayed this example, yeah. and somebody says, oh, you, I have two, when are you going to have the next one, you know? Yeah. And yeah. instead of being offended, the great answer is, I'm not sure, but how are you doing it? How do you, so you can yeah. turn it into a, a conversation rather than a criticism. And make it about them. Yeah. It's also that it goes back to the same thing, like I have a three and a half year old and it's really tough to teach them lessons. So it goes back to the same thing, like I have a three and a half year old and it's really tough to teach them lessons sometimes because they don't quite understand as well as we do. And so a lot of things <laughs> you're doing so is diversions, you yeah. know? You create a diversion, twist things around so they're, you know, so they're, you can't teach the lesson right away. They don't understand, and it's the same with adults yeah. sometimes. But it's hard to teach it. Luca when he has an aunt like Haley. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been oh. pulling some little stunts here with, a, with Luca, haven't you? You know, I do have to say that I, my karma is coming for me. I know it is. <laughs> oh, in a big way. It, because my favorite thing to do is to teach him to say <laughs> naughty. Naughty. Like what? Oh, like, like, Mom, we're doing me. Let me do me right now. <laughs> Haley, Haley, I'll be like, bad. It's time or we were playing, and she was like, let's go to dinner. And Luca and I were playing, and I love time with him. 
And so I said, tell mom we're doing us. And he was like, doing us, doing us mom, can't. And I'm like, Haley, it is coming for you. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get yours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Haley, Hillary, thank you so much. And thank, thank you again. You. I really mean yeah. it. Uh, mom shaming is a big hot button issue right now. So thanks for taking it on. We really appreciate course, it. Yeah. Yes. For more information about the Sisterhood of Motherhood campaign, head to MeredithFierraShow.com. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.